Hey everyone, so you picked up some IKEA Trout Free Smart Lights and you want to get the most out of them. As I mentioned in my previous review of the Trout Free system, the best way to do that is using third party integrations. So today I just want to give you a quick overview of three apps that I've been using to try to get more out of my IKEA Trout Free Lights. This is the IKEA Disco, Outdoor, and Thunder. All of these apps automatically change the color of your bulbs to bring your house to life in a dynamic way. These work especially well with colored bulbs, but will work to some extent with the color temperature and dimming bulbs as well. All three apps work the same way, by communicating directly with the Trout Free Gateway to alter your lights dynamically. The setup is identical as well. Just open the app, allow it to scan and find your Trout Free Gateway, then connect to the gateway and scan the QR code on the back of the hub. That's it. The major difference between these apps is that the Trout Free Disco uses your phone's microphone to actively change the lights in response to variations in sound intensity, whereas the Trout Free Thunder and Outdoor apps do the opposite, providing pre-made light transitions accompanied by optional environmental sounds to transform the mood of your room passively. First, let's look at the Disco app. The main landing page corresponds to the Disco settings. These dictate how your lights will respond to music. Before you get started, go to the bottom menu and select which lights you want to include to make sure that everything is set up the way you want. Then, using the main page, you can vary the sensitivity of the microphone to match how loud the music is, dictate how many color changes will take place, vary the color spectrum that will be used by changing the color theme, or manually tune in the constraints around the color range, brightness, and saturation to get what you're looking for. In addition, you have the option of varying how harsh the color transitions will be or, if all of that seems too intimidating, you can just toggle on the Auto Disco option to have the color settings vary within your selected theme automatically every 4 seconds or so. Also, along the bottom, going from right to left, you can play your current disco settings, switch to a strobe environment, or manually tap out the beats to your music if you want to get some more manual control. I've played around with the disco for a while now, and I'm quite happy with the effect. Varying light color based on sound intensity isn't going to be as good as a professional light show, but if you take the time to tune in the settings, in particular the microphone sensitivity and the change amount, all in all it provides a nice effect. In addition to the disco control, the app packs some bonus mood settings that act similar to the Trout Free Thunder and Outdoor apps by passively changing the color of your lights within predefined themes that you can control in much the same way as the disco settings. Here the lights will loop through predefined color palettes, transitioning harshly or smoothly depending on your settings and at the rate that you define. In addition, you have the option to synchronize or offset the color of all of the lights that you have selected. One thing that I really like about the Trout Free Disco Moods is that you can define your own color theme that will play randomly or in a defined order based on the palette that you select. This is something you can't do with the other two apps. While the color picker doesn't give you the option of prescribing specific RGB values, it makes up for that with the photo matching option, where you can pull the key colors from one of your photos and create a corresponding color theme automatically. This is very cool. Now if all that is a little more than you're looking for in order to set up some dynamic lighting, the Trout Free Thunder and Outdoor apps offer a more curated experience. They function identically, the only real difference being which mood you want to set. Trout Free Thunder offers several variants of thunderstorms, everything from heavy storms to tornadoes to a simple light drizzle. With each, your lights will dynamically change color to simulate sky color and lightning strikes, while atmospheric conditions like thunder, rain, and wind play in the background. You have the option to change the frequency of thunder occurrence as well as the volume of each atmospheric condition independently, or you could just mute all the sound together while still varying the lighting. All in all, if you're somebody who finds the ambiance of a thunderstorm appealing, this is pretty cool. I was pleasantly surprised with how realistic the lightning effect was when I just left the app running in the background and went on with my day. Pivoting over to the Trout Free Outdoor app, my experience was much the same, though the moods were targeted more at nature settings, with atmospheric conditions of birds, animals, traffic, and farm equipment. Both the Trout Free Thunder and Outdoor offer Siri integration where you can teach Siri a phrase that will be used to trigger a specific mood through the app, but unfortunately all of these apps are currently only available on iOS, though the developer has told me that they are working on Android versions, so hopefully those come out soon. All three apps also offer sleep timer controls to automatically stop then shut off the lights after a prescribed time, though I had some difficulty getting the lights to turn off automatically, something I suspect will be fixed with an update. Overall, these apps definitely unlock a lot of the potential of IKEA's Trout Free Smart Home Lighting System. 
I've certainly had a lot of fun playing with them, and I think that they're well worth the $2 that you'd pay for them within the App Store. If you have any questions about how they work, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Otherwise, if you like this video, please let me know by hitting the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.